What's up, Scrollsers? It's Nerp here, and welcome to another hard trial video. I'm still obviously playing ranked and playing judgment and all that other stuff, but I want to get these hard trial videos out this week and next week so I can finish this up and get the hard trial tutorial walkthrough things as soon as possible so you guys can um, see how you can beat them. And today's is the duel. There's only one thing strong enough to defeat Vilda and her twisted desire for infinite enchantments. I will give it to you for one coin, cries a wandering fool, driven mad by her subtle torment and intimidating antlers. Duplication, duplication, you hand over the cash. Okay, so uh, this is um, another boss trial like Voided Highguard, we have to destroy the boss. But we can't do any puppet soldier shenanigans because we're given a growth deck with enchantments. And, um, it's a, yeah, it's a pre constructed deck, and we have a Village of the Vern, and so does the opponent, and we have to destroy that Village of the Vern first. Um, this is the first time I'm playing this trial, I'm just going into it the first time, because I don't think it's going to be that hard to defeat. Um, if it's a level playing field between me and the opponent, I don't think it will be too hard. So, I will try it. If you don't know what Village of the Vern is, I'll really show you what that is. It's the new growth unique that came out in waypoints. It's a 2 2 3 with unique and ward. Vilda has plus one attack for each enchantment on your side, so if you get a bunch of enchantments on this thing, it becomes deadly. And we have to make ours deadlier than hers. Or his, I don't know. So, let's play the duel. And we get to go first in the duel. Okay, yeah, so the idols are all down. It's pretty cool. I think, yeah, I like, I like how they destroy the idols. So, good luck, I'm gonna have. Um, I'm not sure if, the, oh, actually, there's actually a order in here, too. That's cool. Um... Oh, actually, it's not a level playing field. Jeez, this this uh, war, they start with thirteen health. I think we'll be okay though. Um, let's start. I think there's an okay starting hand. Let's start by getting rid of one of the alarm vitals. I think regeneration one should be enough, and magic armor one should be enough. Yes, yeah, so let's go. Let's go with alarm vital. And now you have three attack. I'm gonna stay up here. I don't want to be engaged yet. Because I only have three health and they don't engage me. I'm not sure if this, if Mal's deck is only, um, I'm not sure if Mal's deck is only uh, enchantments. Now let's see. I do think Bear Paw is better than Crown of Strength. I, mean, I think Crown of Strength is better than Bear Paw, so I'm gonna sacrifice the Bear Paw and play the Pilgrim's Feet. I think Pilgrim's Feet will pretty more. Now, now this has Magic Armor too, and it will heal all the time, so. That's pretty awesome. And just attack nothing. Pretty weird attack animation. Okay, so Mauve gets a bear paw, and now that thing is a uh, 15 health unit. Five attack. Wait, does this have count on one? Oh no, it says bear paw has stopped from attacking. Stag card is pretty good, I think. I think I have to keep that. For now, I think I'm actually gonna go with the stag card first. The stack heart is gonna stack like crazy. So I'm just if if Malv isn't going to engage me, I'll just stay in the back here and just keep on um, getting more stuff. Why? What's the point of Caller's Bane being in here? I guess Caller's Bane gives it a little bit more attack because of Vilda's ability, but whatever. I mean, you know who cares. Um, let's go ahead and sacrifice sword. I want to find those other stag cards. Uh, oh, fleetness is darn good. I don't think there's a point in playing fleetness just yet, though. Because Vilda is not attacking yet. And Malv. Is Malv going to move up? Why is Malv not moving up? There's another stag cart. Let's go for some more stuff here. It's fleetness. And stag cart. Alright, so now we have the attack. She has the health. Verdant Veil. All right, well, I'm gonna have to raise my attack even higher, aren't I? Let's go for girls. I'm going to just put a champion ring on you. Even though I'm attacking every turn, I'm not going to move down just yet. Crown of Strength. Earth and Mirth, and I move up. Nope. Okay, so now I will get rid of 
the Pilgrim's Feet for scrolls. I mean, I don't even know if there's structures in this deck. Let's go with, uh... Let's just stay where we are. I guess I'll have to start moving up. And just hope that there's no, like, countdown reduction. 24 and... Okay. Let's see. Sacrifice more growth. Let's play an Earthen Mirth. And now, well, look at all these gems on this Vilda. Now let's hunt down this this uh, Vilda. Hopefully, there's no like blessing of haste. Okay, there is none. So now we're just gonna have to chase it into a corner, I guess. Okay, we're a little sand standstill now. Sacrifice that for scrolls. Play another earthen mirth, I guess. I would like more health. And. Do you have resident home yet? You do have no you don't. So I'll just put a resident home on you. 30 my my Vilda has 30 attack. Mall only has 18 attack. Alright, since it's I mean oak oak blast, I think that's pretty good. Let's get rid of that. Ooh, Vitriller is not too bad either. Actually, that's poison's not gonna do anything to this Vilda. Let's go with the Oak Blood. Uh, we still die from an attack, but, you know, whatever. We have to just move down. I don't think there's any blessing of face here. Okay. This is going to be more fun, but it's pretty pretty easy, it seems like. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's go with another Oak Blood and a Resonant Helm. Okay, so now we have enough health to absorb a hit. Ugh, at least we have enough damage to kill that because we were so, so much attack. Um, uh, and let's go ahead and... Bear Paw, Vitriol Aura, Lombitol. Alright. I think this is gonna be it. I think I won the duel. Woohoo! I have defeated you, Malv. So, guys, what does your final build look like? My final build is a 43 126. Look at all these enchantments. Didn't even get the third stack on her, stack heart on her. So, uh, that wasn't too hard. Quite easy, actually. One, one big blow to destroy it. Destroy her. I wonder if some matches are more like little hits and then little hits back. Like, But we just. We didn't deal any damage to each other until the, the killing blow. So that was interesting. So, and that was pretty easy. So thank you all for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content. I just said that. I'm repeating myself. Keep up scrolling scrolls or submit your top plays to me at nerfplanager.com. And I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.